All right, guys, we are back on track with the travel tips uh, for my, my video for travel. Um, so one of the things that when I looked to going overseas in Europe um, was what to wear. So depending upon where you're going, all right, since I went to Ireland and Scotland, it actually is not that different from Texas weather. So, cause Texas weather can change in an instant, but I will say that over there in Ireland and Scotland, it actually changes a lot faster. <laughs> um, so, but the weather is pretty much the same. I mean, honestly, it's pretty much the same weather. Um, but pack according, of course, to your, to the weather. Um, so, Again, everyone's going into different places. So this is specifically for Ireland and Scotland travel, okay? Um, all right, first of all, I was told through, through YouTube, through all these expert travel people, not to wear leggings because you're gonna stand out as a tourist. I stood out because I'm a tourist and you're going to stand out no matter what you're going to stand out as a person that's lost and trying to look at their map all the time. I, that was me. That was me. Okay. So leggings, I don't care what anybody says on YouTube about traveling. Everybody, everybody, everywhere, tourist or none, all the women were wearing leggings, every single one of them, every single one, okay? So I brought leggings to sleep in, but I ended up wearing them as my third option for my bottoms. And yeah, no one, no one's going to say nothing if you wear your leggings, okay? So scratch that off of your, you know, don't not wear YouTube list or whatever. So just wear your leggings, pack your leggings. Nobody's going to care. Nobody. All right. The other thing, um, the other things were true. Okay. So wear plain, plain shirts, no logos. Um, the only tourist that, I mean, only tourists wear logo shirts, like your Grogu, your, you know, Michigan State, whatever it is, you know, all the tourists buy the touristy shirts, you know, that say Ireland, Scotland, the Highland Cow emblem. Yeah, all of those are touristy stuff. So again, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're a solo traveler like myself and you don't want to stand out in the crowd like that, you don't want to be deemed as a tourist uh, in headlights, then wear something plain, plain Jane, no big deal. But almost everybody in my tour group wore logo stuff, um, special things. So it doesn't really matter. No one came up to them. Nobody robbed them. Nobody, you know, nobody had an incident. Um, you know, so don't believe all of the hype in these other videos that you might see about like what to wear and what not to wear, what this, don't do this, don't do that. It's like nobody effing cares. Nobody looked at anybody. Nobody looked at me, hell. I mean, nobody cared, nobody. All right, plain and simple. Baseball caps. Again, that is an American thing that was said in one of the shows in the taverns um, by, by the owner himself. He was actually stating that, you know, Americans like their ball caps um, in his Irish accent. Uh, and it's true, it's true. If you want to stand out or if you just don't care as an American, you go wear that ball cap. Wear it. Wear it proud. You're an American. But if you don't want to wear a baseball cap, 
women wore baseball caps too down over there. So it didn't really matter. It just, it just didn't matter. It didn't matter, you guys. It just didn't. But I will say that you will end up buying a hat. Lots of the men, tons of the men bought, uh, bought hats on the trip. So again, you're going to have a hat to wear. Okay, guys, there's going to be hats over there that you're going to, you're going to want those hats. I know you are. I bought a hat because I love hats and I bought one. Everybody bought one. Everybody bought hats. I mean, honestly, pretty much almost the whole bus bought a hat. Almost. I even made the tour guide even want to buy a hat. <laughs> All right. So, so there you go. Um, so yeah, just, you're going to, you're, you're going to be fine. Um, the dress attire over there, okay? So basically, um, it's like Seattle weather as well, and they're kind of on the same plane, I guess, the same draft. Because <laughs> um, another lady uh, on my trip, my, my new friend, I will say she's from Seattle, and uh, and she said, this is basic Seattle weather. She was wearing dresses almost the whole entire time. That was too cold for me. I mean, I, I'm like a person that likes to bundle up. So I wore this. I, this is one of the sh sweatshirts that I wore. I wore sweatshirts. Girls were wearing sweatpants. So if you want to bring your sweatpants, wear your sweatpants. Hell, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Scotland and Ireland, they don't give a crap about what you're wearing or what you're not wearing. It's just mainly if you want to look like a tourist, like a blatant out tourist, like I'm from America, tourist, cool, whatever, they didn't have a problem with it. Nobody, like I said, nothing happened to anybody. Nobody got mugged. Nobody got like looked at. Nobody got spit on because, you know, they decided to wear, you know, Texas Longhorns. I don't know. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. They're all there for vacation. Everyone's there to have fun. They didn't care if you wore Lululemon or no. You know, they didn't care. So wear what you want, pack accordingly, and you'll be fine. I can't say that about other countries. Other countries have different rules, have different regulations. I did, however, over here, because a lot of these people had traveled multiple countries, um, and they said, you know, going into some of the churches, you kind of have to have this covered. You have to have, like, you know, your legs covered, your, you know, arms and chest covered. So, and sometimes you can't wear a hat inside some of the uh, cathedrals in other places, but Ireland, Scotland, they don't give a crap. So you wear what you want. Um, as far as footwear, need to have waterproof or water, um, water resistant shoes comfortable shoes because you are going to be walking absolutely everywhere and it's going to be slippery because it's rain it rains all the time either it just got done raining or it's about to rain but bring waterproof or water uh water resistant shoes and make sure that they are slip resistant i bought some spearies I thought, you know, hey, boat shoes, they're water resistant. Um, I I brought, I bought like um, a pair, of, like they were kind of like boots. Um, so they had, you know, they were warm inside. So they kept my feet warm and kept the water out. They were decent shoes, but honestly, they hurt my feet after a while. I was ready um, to get out of them, even though that they had the memory foam inside of there. Um, that's a quick, easy fix. You know, you just get a different insole, you get Dr. Scholl's, you get whatever, and you change the insole of your shoes. But as far as tennis shoes go, that's not an option. I mean, your feet are gonna get wet. The streets are wet, there's puddles everywhere, there's mud everywhere. I mean, it's just best if you get like a boot-ish shoe that's not gonna hurt your feet. You don't need like hiking boots. You don't need any of that. Just get a waterproofed shoe that's comfortable, that you feel like you can walk in or else your feet are gonna be soaked. 
<laughs> and cold. Um, another thing is you need to get a slicker, a water, a jacket, a light, light jacket. I had bought a, um, I think I got it from like TJ Maxx or whatnot. It's like a, it's a water resistant, um, rain trench coat. Um, perfect. It's, it's just perfect. It was perfect. I wore it all the time, uh, when it wasn't cold. Um, it was a perfect layering piece. I loved it. So you guys, and it was easy to, you know, bundle up and wrap up in there. If you have like a, a water, you know, slicker, um, a poncho, you could even do a poncho, but something to where if, if it's raining and you have something to cover your head, uh, is perfect. Um, umbrellas, should you, or should you not bring an umbrella? I believe you should honestly, because the last time it was raining, uh, that it was the last day of the trip. And honestly, I had to buy an umbrella. Yes, I had to buy an umbrella, um, because I wanted to stay more inside the city. So yes, bring a packable, stackable umbrella. Just bring an umbrella. Um, if you want to go hands free, then, you know, get something with a hood, put a ball cap so it doesn't fly off your head because not only is it windy, it's also rainy and windy at the same time. So it's no good if you're always constantly having to put the hood back over your, um, over your head, over your face. So again, something to keep the rain off of you, whether you want an umbrella or whether you want a poncho, it would be perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I would totally get a poncho of some sort with a hood. You need a hood or else you're just going to be soaked to the, to the face. Um, what else for the weather wise, a scarf, you're going to need a scarf. Um, if not, you're going to end up buying a scarf. Scarves are amazing. I wouldn't do a light scarf. I would do like a, a warm scarf because again, it is windy over there. It's windy. It's cold. It's rainy. It's 65 degrees. <laughs> um, sometimes most of the time. So it does get cold. If you are a cold natured person like myself, I brought a scarf. I did bring gloves. Um, they did come in handy the first day in Dublin because it was extra cold that day and my hands get cold. So I did bring gloves, but for the duration, the rest of the trip, I didn't use them at all. So I only used them for that one day and I was glad to have them, but there again, I'm lugging around something that I only used once in my trip. So if you can grin and bear it, <laughs> And you can go without gloves, I would say go without them. But if you are a person of, you need comfort, you need you need your gloves, then by all means, just pack them. Um, but I wore a scarf every single day. So yes, I, I have to bring a scarf. I did end up buying a scarf while I was there. I knew I was gonna buy a scarf. Um, and so yes, I ended up buying a scarf. So I had two scarves. Um, but yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, also you want to make sure that you just bundle up, um, just bundle all the way up here. I did learn that from a, a lady who was doing her videos. She is actually from Scotland. Um, and she gave me the idea of having a scarf all the way up or having something zipped all the way up so that the wind doesn't catch and blow through your clothing so that you're actually a lot warmer um, but layers you know just bringing layers of clothing like you know just like a t-shirt um, those layering pieces you know the uh, long sleeve that's like a tight long sleeve um, shirt undershirts whatever you want to call them um, those are perfect pair of blue jeans you're good and then the rest is up to you if you want gloves bring gloves but again, it just depends on that time of the year. You know, if you're going when it's really, really cold in their winter, then obviously bring gloves and a scarf and bring a hat. If you, if you feel like bringing a hat, I had a beanie, um, as my choice of hats. And then I got another hat when I 
was over there. So in Scotland, I didn't get anything in Ireland, but, um, but yeah, so honestly, that's the stuff that you need to pack for. Um, I didn't wear anything like t-shirt wise, but if, like I said, if you're a hot natured person and you go in the time frame that I went, so I went uh, late April to early May. So I actually left um, April 26, 25th, 26th. So it's very late April and it was still cold over there. It was cold. Like I, but I was cold. Now other people around me, they weren't as cold. Um, they wore like light blouses and dresses and t-shirts and things like that. So wear what you are comfortable with. Even here in Texas, I'm wearing a sweatshirt today and it's 80 degrees outside. So there you go. And no, I'm not anemic. <laughs> I'm not anemic. Um, I just wear sweatshirts. I've always worn sweatshirts. Um, so anyway, so that's just me. That's just how I dress. So dress how you normally dress for that typical type of weather. Um, but yeah, those are the things you're going to need and that's it. All right, guys, I hope this helps someone and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.